Okay, so here's a way to make a quickie hot air balloon, indoor hot air balloon demonstration. This is a garment bag. It would be better if it had been a really thin one, like the disposable ones you get from dry cleaning, but this is what I had around, so hopefully it'll still go up in the air a little bit in spite of it being heavier than desired. The first thing is I'm going to try and seal off the little uh, hanger hole there. And then we'll also shape the bottom end of it. So we won't use the heat gun, we'll use a hair dryer to blow it up in the end because this will melt the plastic. And so that's what I'll use to seal it off. Heat gun warm and then just And this is just a piece of cardstock uh, poster board to protect my counter. If you have a counter that can handle heat, you don't need to do that. And then a board to lay across it so that the heat doesn't go too far. So that's the top end. The bottom end of the bag will make a little bit smaller so that it will fit over the hair dryer better. Although we want a little bigger opening than the hair dryer so that you know, you have room for some air to come out as you're trying to heat all of it. So we'll trim this off here, make a little angled piece at the bottom, and again, yeah, melt it off of the... And that angles that one. Angle the other end here to, and leave oh, six inches or so for an opening at the bottom. So I'm cutting off, leaving a centimeter or two to heat seal. Opening to yeah, go around the hair dryer and have a a little bit of spare room. So now we'll see how it works. So here's the hot air balloon we just made. And we're gonna turn on the hair dryer on high so it'll warm the air up, and then hold it over the hair dryer. You let it seal up and then continue letting it heat up until the air coming out around my hands gets a little too hot to handle. And then we'll turn the air dryer off and let it go. indoor hot air balloon. See how long it stays at the ceiling. Probably just to get a couple seconds. It'll come down. It'll stay up quite a bit longer with a larger bag. So, we'll do this one more time. It shouldn't take as long to heat up the second time. It's still somewhat warm. ceiling again. So I should time it and see how long. And back down again. Like I say, if you can get, this is about 15 microns thick, if you can get the really thin, like 7 micron-ish ones from the, the dry cleaner, that'll work even better. As an example of that, this is quite a messy looking bag, but this I made from some old remnants of a really thin disposable drop cloth. So this is about 7 micron material and a bit bigger and very odd shaped because it was already torn. So I patched it together with the same kind of sealing technique. Strange shaped bag, but what's left from the remnants.
No. And we'll let that one go. And that will probably stay up a bit longer, both because it's bigger and... Oh, it's going to get caught over the fridge. Pull it up there. So we're going to see, well, <laughs> now it's going to get caught out of view of the camera, but... down still only 30 seconds something like that so that's about seven micron it was I think labeled 0.28 mils and starting to cool off and come down now see it's slowly drifting down So that's both the thinner bag and the, that it's bigger, and so it takes longer for the heat to come back out for the air to cool off. Okay, no longer stuck to the ceiling. I think a little bit of static electricity is still slowing its fall.